Hi, it's Luke from Love Roadby, and today um, at uh, Sandhurst Street, um, and it's probably a little bit off, off the beaten track that a lot of people know about the community centre here. So I'm with Half. Hi, Hi Half. Hi. Um, and we've got a special visitor today to the community centre, but it's also not just a community centre, is it, as well? That's correct. We're, we're the only mosque in Obi and Wixton area, so we're the central mosque. Okay. We've been established about 10 years wow. now. Wow, okay. Just 10 years. Um, this was an old library quite derelict yeah it many, felt many a bit years. sorry for itself didn't it exactly yeah. so we kind of took it on board all the work that you'll see yeah. probably later on and as you see now has gone in from yeah. everybody's just donation and yeah. we've, we've kind of built it to well, remember, being a big part I remember of the when, when it was being cladded the new windows going in that's and right yeah definitely and we're a, a very big part of the community working with other faiths and organizations yeah. as so well. so what how does it feel to be involved in that ob community oh it's absolutely brilliant yeah uh, uh, it's good to be a big part of the community we are here and we help with, with the help with other communities yeah. as well it's really really good and it, and it isn't and it isn't just for uh, it's for multi-faiths isn't it it is for multi-faiths uh, a lot of people have this misconception that a mosque is only just for the muslim community yeah our doors are o always open yeah. we have regular visits from schools from the high commission and other organizations as well yeah. that come into us and talk about different faiths and organizations we were the first mosque as well to hold the uh, jewish uh, muslim forum where we invited the jewish community yeah. of uh, ob and leicester wow. into our mosque and have an open fantastic, forum fantastic well. so completely open doors yeah but we have got that special visitor today yes, haven't we we're, we're so proud. Who have we got well, we're proud to say we've got Diane Thompson, we choose the High Sheriff of uh, wow. Leicestershire coming down yep. to see us today to see how our mosque runs and the organisation and work we do with the communities and the children. Fantastic. So it's set to be a great day. Um, yeah. we're, we're going to be showcasing what, what goes on and hopefully being able to get a few words from Diane and what she thinks to, to the community centre and the mosque as well. So um, we'll see you in a bit. So we've come to the prayer room and it's, it's lovely and warm. It's even got underfloor heating in here as well. So, and I'm joined by this very handsome chap that's, that's with us today. Thank so you. What, what's your name, sir? Um, Raza. Raza. So, so Raza, what, what, what's great about the community centre? What's great about the community centre is everyone can come yeah. from all different backgrounds. If you want to see us pray, you can. Yeah. And I think it's just good for all of us just to come together and talk about around the world and yeah. just everyday life. Yeah, so regardless of faith, yeah. You, yeah. Everyone, every, everyone's, everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome. Yeah. That fantastic, absolute, absolutely brilliant initiative. So, so how often would you come to the community centre? Um, if I come to the community centre, it'd usually be um, in the holidays because of school. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but if it's in the holidays, then I try to come every day. Fantastic. So um, I can pray, obviously, yeah. and um, when it comes to special occasions, yeah. I always come. Yeah. No matter what else we're doing, because I like to come to stuff like this yeah. to talk about. So usually we do stuff in Ramadan. Yeah. Um, so I think we have um, open the mosque day, so everyone comes. Yes. So that's on yeah. Sunday, the third of third uh, yeah. of March. And sometimes we have um, another day, um, interfaith day. So yeah. um, we have that part of, of the mosque open. Yeah. This part of the mosque open, and we have some people sitting at the back. And we do our prayers, and um, after we do our prayers, we go in there and we discuss the yeah. stuff like one to one with other people. Right. And, okay. And um, just talk about. So a bit, bit of a chat, yeah. bit of a yeah. conversation, and getting to know different it's, people. Yeah. It's not always about religion. Sometimes it's just about like what's going on in the outside world. Yeah. And how we, as together, could make could it help. Yeah, yeah. Make make a difference. Now, definitely. So now, now here on on the Great Farm, you're a bit of a footballer. Yeah. So you play for OBLs. So what's your position for OBLs? Uh, left back. Left back. So you're the Ashley Cole of uh, <laughs> of the OBLs, are you? Yes. So, so what do you love about OBLs? Um. I love it just because it's, oh, it's my passion, really. Yeah. And um, I think it's just great because, not just because it's football, but just because all different types of backgrounds come together and we play together and it's just fun. Really. Yeah, fun. And, and great managing like, like by half and uh, yeah. other coaches and it's just what makes it a day sometimes. Yeah, it is a real good, again, yeah. great community, great community group. Yeah. So, um, and you go to a local school as well? Yeah. So which school do you go uh, to? Gartree High School. Gartree, is it good? Yeah, it's a very good school. Yeah, very good school. you're doing well at school? Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. You. yeah, thank you. Yeah, Fan well. Fantastic. Done all your homework over half yeah, term? Yeah, I like doing my homework as <laughs> soon as I get it. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and what do, what's the best bit about OB? What is What would you say is the best bit about OB? I think the best bit of OB is just that we all work together. Yeah. I think 
compared to other cities and stuff, I just, not in a bad way, I just think Obi's one of the main town cities that we just like work together, we get over things, and especially like this centre here, we can come together and just talk and yeah. forget about what's going on around the world with the streamists and stuff like that. Yeah. We just come down and tell them, look, those people out there, they ain't Muslims, they ain't like who they say they are. Yeah. They're just bad people with twisted minds. Yeah. But, Whereas yeah. OB, we all, everyone yeah. gets on together, like what we've seen when it comes to the festive light switch yeah. on to open the mosque day, yeah. to OB hours, to all the different community groups that go on in OB. It, it's a great hub that everyone just gets on together, but there's so much out there, isn't there, that, yeah. that people can do. Sadly there is, yeah. Um, so, so yeah, so fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Um, we're, we're just awaiting the visit of the High Sheriff to come, yeah. and, to come and visit the, the community centre and the mosque, so we're looking forward to that. Um, hopefully I'll come and see you when you're playing up at OBL soon. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your time. Imam Lees. Okay. And how long does it take you to train to be an Imam? Uh, at least uh, eight to ten years. Eight to ten years. Yeah. Mm. At yeah. least. Mm. And that can go up to 15, 20 years. Yes. And, in his and you case, continue to learn. Yeah. And in his case, he's uh, re revised and memorized the Holy Quran by heart. So there's 30 volumes of the Quran, which, wow. is, which is this. That's the Quran. So you pick any any paragraph or any page of the Quran. Can I? Yes. Have you and he and he has to know that off he knows off, it off by heart. Oh, yes. By sure, heart. the English one, I think. I so no wonder you need eight to ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might need fifteen. Yeah. yeah. And and the, and also with, with um, uh, I'm I'm here. He's. A high level one, so he, he does the trans he knows the translations and the right. translations the the and also the way it works. Like the Bible. Bible. Yeah. So he's he's blessed with that where he knows the Holy Quran by heart. Thirty volumes, and it takes uh, at least four to five years or more to learn that, but mm -hmm. then it carries on for life. How soon do the children start learning? Well, oh, he's he's from the, age of five. Yeah. from the age of five. So he, okay. my son here, he's finished the Quran. He doesn't know it off by heart, but he's finished it, and he can read by the looking. Arabic text by looking, by, by looking and reading. reading. And she's uh, currently what? Yeah, she's about the fifth class. She's on the fifth, yeah. but she can still okay. read the Arabic. She can still five, read five, the five. Arabic text. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. If we come through to where we were earlier, so here is what we have. We have like English classes, maths classes, mm -hmm. we have the Islamic classes. And what we tend us to do is break uh, in down into three different areas. You can see the televisions in there mm -hmm. so they can see what's going on. And we have like music videos, um, not music videos, sorry, videos and Islamic videos and they can see anything. And then all, every room is air conditioned as well. And then we have a projector screen as well here. On the Friday, this gets totally full out as mm -hmm. well and it becomes a full prayer room here. But, so you've got the prayers, you've got the Zagar, which is the uh, Sawam, which is the fasting, which is in the Ramadan, that's coming. Uh, Shahada, which is the declaration of faith, as what I had explained earlier. And then the Hajj, which is the pilgrimage to Mecca. And they're the five ba basic duties of Islam. This is uh, like a, a compulsory charity. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from it, we also donate um, on occasions. Yeah. And that could be any amount. Yeah. But this is like, something we have to have, you have to, to do, do. Yeah, so, yeah but apart from it we also have some optional charities mm -hmm. which we do which we donate and we support, we support. Yes, yes correct so that compulsory amount where, where does that is, is that to a charity then what no, this actually you can even give to individuals yes yeah. oh okay we, we actually you know so you so you you yeah. so you can decide yeah. but the minimum uh, is two and a half percent out of, out of your yeah. surplus yeah. Right, out of the surplus. Yeah. Yeah. And then, obviously, if you know somebody personally, that's you struggling. can give it to them, yeah. otherwise you can give it to a charity, yeah. who can give it to mm -hmm. them, or you can give it to somebody who knows who are in need. Mm -hmm. So what we do here as an organisation is that we collect it, and then uh, at Ramadan, where we are fast appear, where a lot of people give it, and then mm -hmm. we distribute it, and we hand distribute right. it to different charities okay. mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So you do a lot of different charities, not just Muslim charities. That's yeah, correct. Like everybody. Charities like called Wish for Kids. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 I know, the yeah. one. The yeah, 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 that's yeah. right. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. You don't just do like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. According, according to one of the sayings, that on the Day of Judgment, God will ask man that I was thirsty and you did not give me something to drink. And man will say, oh God, you are God. You are the nourisher and cherisher. 
How could you be cursed? And you'll say, so and so, my servant. In somewhere, somewhere, he was in need of water. And you did not give him any water. Had you given him water to drink, you would have found me with him. That means anybody, not just a Muslim, mm -hmm. could be, because God is the creator of all the creation. Your God, my God, everybody. Is God. Everybody is God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have to look after others who are in need, no matter who they are. So we'll show you the other room. So similar to as the, the other room, this gets split. This is a bit of a small one. We, again, we hold a lot of English classes, mass classes in different uh, classes here. Generally on a Friday, the ladies kind of pray in this area while yeah. the men pray over there. Hopefully when we expand, we'll, we'll be have, able to have a more of a dedicated yeah. area because our ladies committee are very good and our youth as well, yeah. that we, we, we're really pushing our youth. And, but you, you've moved forward a lot, haven't you? We I mean, have, we're yes. Together. Yes, that, yes. That we're, must be a major step. Yeah, it? yeah, that's right. We're, we're, we're very... And is that oh. happening? Um, is that developing? Worldwide, less Leicester wide, or is it just you who's? I think we're different. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're quite different. No, I think in, in the Leicester, no, yeah, other people are yeah, they are, mm -hmm. and I think we're kind of leading by example and, and making that push off. I think of changes it. are coming. I think. Yeah, yes. and it needs to. It needs to change. Mm -hmm. The best part. Of it. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I <thought> I was... <laughs> Sorry. Thank you very much. So it's quite a, quite a large building. It is. Yeah. It, it, it's a very yeah. very deceiving. It's it a bit is. of like a tile. Yeah, so we have, we have our kitchen here, which again uh, we are able to cook and yeah. please. And we're giving That's a good very place. well fitted out. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. Very clean. Yeah. It smells very clean. Yeah. Yeah. In here, and we have the men's one there. We're coming to the men's one because it's a bit bigger. Is that the way for me to go in? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You can come in. You can come in. That's fine. Thank you. So the, that's how we do the ablution, which is here, right. and, and what needs to be done before we do any prayer. Okay. Um, so it's, it's basically ensuring that you are fully clean. Yeah. For, because you are praying to God, yeah. and you are in front, standing in front of Him, and to stand in front of Him. And if you do this five times a day, you will always be clean. Yeah. 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 <laughs> If you look 10 years ago, it was like, oh, Muslims are like this. Now it's like, not all Muslims are like this, actually. They're, you know, you, you're getting the wrong end of the stick. Um, and How do you find it in school? Do you... Um, someone, when we, um, we don't really talk about stuff like that because we know it's, we, I tell my friends, I tell them that it's not, like, they're not Muslims, you know what I mean? They're not any religion. Mm -hmm. They're just people, people with pissed in mind. You mean the terrorists, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. 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 We, we don't really talk about that stuff because we don't really like to go into that area. We just yeah. try to just enjoy the school. Mm -hmm. if, we, if we do talk about it, it's because we just, they just want, they just ask me about like, well, do you think these people are so-called Muslims? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I just say, no, they're not. They're just people with twisted minds. Yes, exactly. And they've just gone down the wrong path. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he's, but both my children are quite good. They come to a lot of uh, events with myself, uh, and it's really important for that that they see that. And as what you probably said, you can see the way he is. Yeah, he's quite he's very, confident. Yeah, he's very confident. <laughs> very confident young man. So, which is, which is he's really. He's obviously got a good teacher. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mum. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, mum. I should have credited you, really. Or both. Yeah. That'll take the glory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so before you came in to the community uh, centre, that, I mean, before you came in the community centre and, and Mosta, did you imagine it was going to be like this? Um, I knew, I sort of read, I thought it was very much something for the community, yeah. but I'm pleased to see that it is um, a bigger community, yes. that, if that makes sense. And also I think it's wonderful to see that you are moving forward, that um, that as a woman you can pray yeah. with, with the men, yeah. um, which if you're a family, it's yeah. nice to be able to do that, yeah. mm. to have that inclusion. Um, so for me, that is, because yeah. um, I didn't realise that you, I thought there had to be separation yeah. for praying. No, I think which the ladies, uh, mm. yeah, you can ask them, I think they will answer for any of your questions. Mm. 
yes. of any. But but nice for you, isn't it, that you can pray, oh, to, yeah, oh, pray together. Mm. Yeah. It's just I think when the main prayer happens, and there's um, men obviously praying at the front, yes. and women are at the back. But generally, we do have functions and events here, religious ones or other ones. If you well. can all be together. It's all mixed, and the kids mm. are used to it. Well, also. that's what's great, so that they, can, they grow up with that this too. This is mm. it, and especially on this side of the hall, that is, you know, other people, when they're coming to coffee mornings, mm. they get invited to these things, and we say to them that it's not just for Muslims only. Mm. Apart from men and women, that yes. it's, it's for others as well. It's so we've had in coffee mornings, we've had men in the mornings mm. as well. Yeah, it's, it's worth mentioning one of your predecessors, the late Frida, who mm. said yes. when she passed away, the service was, it was actually held here. here. Oh, was it? So Frida, as we oh, held the service okay. here. Oh, really? In this very yes. room? Yeah, in oh, yes, okay. that's right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, Hmm. It is, it is, I mean, I'm, I'm proud to say, along with my colleagues and ladies and everybody, that we, we, we are very advanced thinking and we, we, we're looking to make that change, which That's is really, really achieve. good. Yeah, mm. and it's, it, is, it is difficult. It's not all easy. No. It's, it's, uh, but because you've still got a lot of different mindsets out there. Do you there. get quite a lot of opposition? I think it's changing. I think, I think initially uh, we did. People didn't know much about it before. Yeah, but that's now right. I think they're realizing. Mm. And uh, I think we are working hard mm -hmm. to remove that barrier, you know. Mm. And like I said, I'm proud to say, like, the OB lights. I remember the first time when I was turning on the Christmas lights, it was like, really? But our imams attended and we, yeah. we did it. And, it yeah. was, and it's, it's, I've been great. doing it for three, it's four years in a row. I thought it was fantastic <laughs> to see everybody. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I yeah. thought, well, you know, we must have it right here. Yeah, exactly. And that's, the, and that's yeah. amazing to see that the amount of different culturals and everybody together just for one occasion it's a festive period it's a goodwill that's what, what it is mm. um i mean i work with the local football club i'm the chair there as well which is the biggest in the county and that's evolved and changed and grown grown as well and i incorporate that the ethos is there with us and work a working partnership well it's good to see that all working yes indeed yeah, indeed, indeed very indeed. important yeah. and thank you both for filling me in so much. <laughs> <laughs> we know what's going Fountain of knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah. They, they're good. Yeah. We think it's important to start them at a young age because it, it takes that mindset straight away off. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much.